Think in Middle Apartments. This is Brittany. How can I help you? Hello, Brittany. This is Tim. I'm a tenant here. Mm-hmm. And um, I just have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, I just wanted to make sure it was okay because today I'm putting up a, a big vinyl sign on the roof. Uh, it's a political sign. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to cover the entire front part of the roof above my apartment. And it's going to hang down in front of the windows a little bit, too. It's really big. Okay, so you're wanting to see if that's okay, or... Yeah, well, I just, I didn't know if that would interfere with the gutters if it rained or something. Like, I guess I can move it if it rains, just uh-huh. temporarily. Hold but, on one second, okay? All right. Okay, this is Pam. So, um, Brittany said you had a question. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to... I, um, I'm putting a gigantic vinyl sign on the roof. Okay. Um, it's going to cover most of the roof over my part of the building. Okay. It's, it's like a political sign. It's for one of the people running for office. I don't know which okay. one. Like, they're paying. And who is this? Uh, who's the political person? I'm not sure. No, I who are know- you? Oh, my name is Tim. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's not okay, Tim. Why not? Um, because it's not your building. Yeah, Can but I it's, ask it's, what apartment you live in? It's my roof, though. It's like my part of the roof. It's like just yeah. over. It's only going to affect my apartment. It's going to go. It's going to drape over the side of the roof, and it's going to hang in front of my windows. So well, I'm telling you, you can't do that. Well, I've already done it. It's up. Okay. Well, we'll go take it down. Well, you no, might you want can't. to take it down so you don't lose it. I, I just spent a bunch of time putting it up. I, I like nailed nails through it to hold it onto the roof. You nailed holes into our roof. Yeah, just little ones, so it's okay. It's not going to uh, hurt anything. What's your apartment number? I'm in 2405. Okay, yeah, you need to remove it, and if you don't remove it, we will. Would that have made a difference? Like, you asked what apartment um, number I was. Like, if I said a different apartment, would you have said, oh, that's fine, you can do it? Whatever. No, I just want to know where to go get the banner off of the roof. Well, you can't take it down. Like, it's it's just yeah. got to be up there for the next week until the elections. Yeah, we absolutely can take it down. And we will. I don't give you so permission to take it you, down. If you, we don't need your permission. If you do not remove it, we will. It's not even. I, I've already been paid for it, so they already paid me money to put it up, and I signed a wow. contract. I, I signed a contract with them. I guess and, you need to go work that out with them then. Well, no, maybe you do. No, so. because you know you're the one saying you're going to take it down, and it's not yours to take down. I paid money for that. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? Let me get someone else for you to talk to. And in the process of that... Is it going to be a man um, because you can't handle things because you're a woman? Excuse me? I didn't say anything. No, it's fine. Go ahead and put him on. Yeah, let me get him for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be able to take care of things. (laughs) He'll have sense. I get to tell my wacky story to three people now. Hi, this is Amy. Hi, Amy. Um, um, you're Tim? Yeah. Okay, what's your last name, Tim? I'm sorry, I'm not really, I've never had any conversations with you. Mick Daverson. Okay. And you have hung a sign on our building? Yeah, just on the roof, just on the front part of the roof so people can see it. It's. Um, so you just put holes in our roof without permission? Yeah, well, I had to nail all around the sides. And I, I just tried to just put like a, like three nails in the top, but it was kind of drooping around in the middle but part I of it. I don't so understand I, why why just, you would feel the need to put holes in somebody else's property. Well, they're just little holes. They're not going to make leaks or anything. A little hole wouldn't make a um, wouldn't make a leak through our shingles. Probably not. The shingles are there. They're solid for a reason. Yeah. Well, it, it's for uh, I think Roy Gerbel. He's running for county county clerk. Okay, that. Okay, that that really doesn't matter to us. What matters to us is that our buildings have been damaged. Well, it's really important that he um, win, wins the election. I mean, it's he's needs to be the next county clerk. Okay, I'm kind of starting to think this is a prank call. I really hope it is. No. Cuz I wouldn't hope that anybody that I had living here would feel that it would ever be okay to do that and then try to explain it um as some sort of a a personal reasoning. For it. Well, what other reason would it be? Well, why would you personally damage my property for one of your political feelings? Well, no, he's paying me to put it up. Okay, but what am I getting out of it? What makes it okay? Well, I shouldn't have to give you income, my own income. 
No, I'm, I'm, I think this, yeah, this must be some sort of a prank. That's what I was telling you. Um, no. And what? if there is, if there was to be one found on our building, um, we would sue whoever did it. Well, come, come and look at it. It's right on the that. roof. I'm not, this isn't a prank. Okay. Um, please don't call back, sir. I'm not going to call back. I just wanted to make sure. I was just being nice. I, I, <laughs> wait a minute. That wasn't a man.